He's gonna go to the kitchen. And you can see here, you can kind of get a glimpse. was just volcanic cinder and he brought in mango dirt he brought in trees he brought in more trees in just a few years not even two decades he has made this place abundant with fruit he has created a community where people can live in harmony and support each other he has created an, an environment where people can come to heal and be empowered and learn and grow together places where families can come, or just walk through a garden, pick a salad, enjoy the sunshine, and be full and happy. Instead of weeds, you could actually grow food. You know, that's the idea, to maximize all the space for food production, if you're really gonna feed a hungry world, you know? That's what it's gonna take. Every inch of it has to be grown in food. Uh, I'm pretty sure that anybody that's going to be participating in the raffle is going to have had a taste of at least, probably knows Jesus and his vision and his what he's found to work over the last 17 years. So there's going to be no doubt for the potential of that one acre in the people's minds who win that raffle. Um, I, I'd, I'm happily throwing 100 bucks just because I like to win raffles and be part of the fun, you know, uh, 100 bucks is nothing, 